A $1.2 million grant from the Texas Department of Transportation will ensure that students who walk or bike to school get there safely. The Safe Routes to School grant was awarded to Pat Neff Middle School and Colby Glass, Glen Oaks, and Powell Elementary Schools. The Safe Routes to School kickoff event is a celebration of a grant that will impact more than 3,000 students at four schools over the next couple of years. This is going to enable the schools to take that first step to start to get their kids involved in the walking and biking to school and without that it probably wouldn't happen. If children are not safe and healthy then they are not ready to learn which is why school leaders think the new grant is so important. This money is really about keeping our routes to school safe and also keeping our children healthy. But it's also more important than just those two things. I've said many times that we can have great academic programs, we can have great extracurricular programs, but it really doesn't matter a whole lot if we don't take care of ourselves in terms of our health and in terms of our safety. Northside Independent School District is making everyone in San Antonio very, very proud not just by what's happening inside the classroom, but also what's happening outside the classroom. And this is one great example of that. Prior to the kickoff, the four schools held poster contests and over 2,000 works of art were submitted, each depicting what safe routes means to the students. I thought of people driving on the way and houses and a kid riding a bike and some constructors building something and I drew a little park in the corner. The top four entries from each school are on display, but the students who created them have no idea if they placed first, second, third, or fourth until their name is called. Runners-up receive gift certificates to a local bike store, and the four grand prize winners receive a new bike and bike helmet. I don't have a bike already, and this is my first bike. We don't see bikes at our school. And so I'm hoping that this is the beginning and it's going to change that at Powell. I think the, the bike safety program now that's part of the safe routes, this is going to open a lot of eyes too. And I think kids, hopefully it'll help kids become more involved in biking and walking to and from school. The Powell teachers did their part to increase students' bike awareness by creating a bike show with their own bikes from home. Students walk around the display area reading descriptions of how their teachers use them. Check out the unicycle. But at this event, it's not enough just to talk about physical activity. It's time for us to get moving. We're going to take a walk and we're going to practice walking a safe route together. <laughs> Students and staff end the celebration with a stroll through the Powell neighborhood as part of International I Walk to School Day. Hopefully this will become a more familiar sight in the future as the four safe route schools start moving in the right direction. The Safe Routes grant includes both infrastructure projects like new crosswalks and signage and non-infrastructure projects like bike safety education. For more information, go to the Safe Routes website.